All right, welcome back to Hiawatha. We are out here for the Brown County Blackout. I'm Brooke Lennington. And I'm Matt Miller. You know, we've got a big turnout here for this. Yeah, unfortunately, we've had some showers. About to get hit with one more shower that'll come through. And then after that, looks like we may get a little break from the rain and hopefully some breaks in the clouds as well as we head into the, uh, the closer into the totality time. And hopefully so. But to know for sure if we can expect this break and to get a little bit of a better idea, let's toss it over to Christina Reese. She's now in the studio. Christina, what are you seeing there? Pretty much what you guys are seeing, mixes of that cloud cover really trying to take control, but blue skies are trying to mix in as well. Now, West Topeka, you'll notice no sun shining, but if you look closely, there is some peaks of blue mixing in. So that is optimistic. We'll at least see a little bit of that total eclipse coming up. Now, temperature wise, though, it's all over the place across northeast Kansas. 75 is what it's feeling like where Brooke and Matt are in Hiawatha and Brown County right now. But you can see plenty of 80s mixing in as well. Some of that rain cool there they dealt with earlier has them a little bit cooler across the region right now. Now, satellite and radar, Matt did touch on the fact that they are expecting another shower to push through. And you can see it just got through Holton right on the outskirts of Hiawatha in southwestern Brown County right now. We are tracking another secondary wave just to the south of Junction City right now, but even so, this is just some light to maybe moderate pockets of rain hit and miss. The other thing you want to keep note of is just how bright white the clouds are across the region. They were much more on the lighter side earlier, but see how it's thinning out to that more of that light gray? That's showing that these aren't the thickest of clouds. So even though we may be contending with some clouds here and there, it could just filter the sun, not completely block it out from that total eclipse. So breaking down the next hour or so for you, we hold on to that rain chance at least leading up to 1 o'clock. I think once we get closer to 1 o'clock, maybe some spotty just light rain here and there, but that will drop off. Clouds will be around, but again, it looks like it'll be of the thinner variety, so it could just filter what you're seeing, not completely block out what you're seeing. Now, something we want to make note of is a flash flood watch. Not in effect yet, so not a concern for your eclipse viewing. This doesn't start until hours after at 7 o'clock tonight through tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So if you are heading out late after your eclipse viewing, maybe hanging out in the Brown County blackout as it runs through 5 o'clock, that's when we run into the chance for more uh, scattered showers and storms. Best chance of rain rolls in overnight tonight, and this could produce some heavy pockets of rain, which is why that flash flood watch will be in effect overnight tonight, but then we'll start to dry out as the day progresses for tomorrow. Now, a final check at your KSNT storm track seven day forecast that 30% chance of rain or, or the late storms really is just that late afternoon to evening before that chance ramps up overnight tonight. That'll be due to our next cold front and that'll drop us back down into the 80s. So slightly warmer as to what Brooke and Matt are feeling right now. And let's talk, toss it back to them in Hiawatha. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks, Christina. You know, do the one more shower that's going to be coming through. It's already just a little southwest of town. That comes on through, and then we're hopeful that we start to get some breaks. We've seen already a little bit of the partial eclipse here. You can see it through the breaks in the clouds. We're hoping we get that break in time for totality coming up after 105. Yeah, absolutely. But other parts of the country have already experienced their eclipse. At 1145 today in uh, Idaho Falls, Utah, they are having a very similar festival to what we're doing here. They already experienced that, and we have one of our sister station partners there. Glenn Beebe, one of the reporters there, is there live now. So, Glenn, can you tell us what are you seeing there? Well, hello everyone from Topeka, Kansas. We are here in Idaho Falls. We are at one of the official NASA viewing sites here at the Museum of Idaho. There are NASA scientists here on scene. They're about to start doing some experiments. They've already started as the eclipse is about to go to a full eclipse here in about 30 minutes. But just take a look behind me. You can see the thousands of people who have shown up here. Now, what's so interesting is we did not see many of the traffic problems that you saw around the country, especially in Oregon. The weekend traffic here was pretty much clear, but today we have seen a lot of that traffic. We've met people from Las Vegas, L.A., who just decided at the last minute to come up and try to get here before the eclipse happened. So there's been so many stories here. We even met one family from L.A. A woman is celebrating her 75th birthday, and so she decided to come up here with her family. She decided several years ago this is how she wanted to spend her 75th birthday, but it's been a lot of fun here. And what's interesting is, is that there are some mountains here. There is an old uh, volcanic crater, and a lot of people have been on that side of town. 
They're planning on watching the shadow come across from the west, and that's going to then come over them, so they'll get to see the eclipse coming. But many here still enjoying the scene. It's definitely been a lot of fun, as so many people and so many different stories of why they want to come here and why they want to witness history, and it's been very interesting. Back to you. All right, well, you know, excitement already in the western part of the country. Oregon's had it. It's made its way now to Idaho. So, again, some really uh, exciting things to see, and we're looking forward, if nothing else. Hopefully we'll see more of it, but at least the darkness is on the way. And we are almost there in Hiawatha. The countdown, let's see what time it is. 12.05 is so about one hour away, to be exact. Now, let's take a look at what you can expect. We will be live from Brown County all day today with updates every half hour, where totality is expected very soon, like I mentioned, at 1.05 this afternoon. Complete coverage starts again at 1255 and we will also have live traffic reports for you as well all right well live from hiawatha uh, be sure to keep tuned to my KSNT as we continue to have coverage from the brown county blackout reporting live i'm chief meteorologist matt miller alongside brooke lennington